The Asia-Pacific Communication Monitor explores trends in strategic communication in the Asia-Pacific region. A research team from leading universities surveyed 1,200 communication professionals from 23 countries in Asia-Pacific. Practitioners in the region predict major changes in the ways they will use media in the future. Approaching mass media to get coverage will gain even more importance. Producing own media, such as magazines or websites, are also seen as increasingly relevant. But only one-third of the respondents believes in the rise of advertising and media sponsoring and nearly as much see this field declining. Looking three years ahead, mobile communication will be the most relevant platform, followed by social media. Only half of the communicators see addressing traditional print media being important then. Face-to-face -face communication, however, will keep its relevance in the future. Communication professionals in Asia-Pacific still need to develop their skills in digital and social media. Less than half of the respondents know how to set up social media platforms, manage online communities or start a dialogue with stakeholders on the web. This might be one of the reasons why coping with the digital revolution is named the number one challenge for the profession in Asia-Pacific. Next comes the ongoing demand to link communication to organizational goals. When explaining the value of communication, 8 out of 10 communicators talk about positive effects of reputation, brands and organizational culture. But only 60% try to demonstrate the economic impact of communication, and even less report that their organizations are measuring either intangible or tangible effects. Communication professionals in Asia-Pacific are generally quite happy with their jobs. Nearly two-thirds say so. 12%, however, are clearly dissatisfied. Most professionals confirm that they have interesting tasks. This is the strongest driver of satisfaction. Salaries and life-work balance, on the other hand, are often criticized. The study identifies key characteristics of excellent communication departments. They are significantly better in explaining the value of communication. They collaborate more extensively. They use a wider range of measurement tools and employ more social media savvy people. Communicators working in these departments are also much more satisfied with their job and they enjoy a higher status. How does your communication department measure up? Discover the full report at www.communicationmonitor.asia and join the discussion.